Okay. Uh, so hello. Uh, it's um, today is thirteenth December or December thirteenth um, February, and it's uh, I think I'll make the class a bit active um, because it's cold and um, yeah needs a bit of movement. And uh, I would say it will be twists. I hope it will be twists mostly, and maybe we'll help a bit Nicola with her with her shoulders. So um, welcome everyone. Daphne, I see you. Hello. And sit on the height, legs crossed. Uh, any height is good. Uh, maybe no height if you have good hips. I don't. And cross your legs. And uh, settle down your knees. Allow your legs to descend and then bring your hands by your hips. Actually, you know, sometimes I forget to say, but this is a good action to roll the cuff, uh, roll the uh, buttock muscle slightly to the side. See that you are not tilting forward and back, of course. Your uh, pelvic cream muscles, anterior hips, in Russian, they should face really forward. And then the whole pelvic cream should be parallel front to the back and, and not tilt anyway. Just adjust yourself, feel yourself tall. Remember this uh, action, um, the feet extending and outer hips coiling towards the sitting bone, how it right away allow your um, pubis to wake up, to lift up abdominal. And then uh, the diaphragm gets uh, lift from the bottom and you feel deeper breath. Just for a moment, take your hands in front of the chest, close your eyes. Again, check yourself, crown of the head tailbone, are you sitting straight? Keep uh, lengthening the toes, uh, bring out your ankles in, hold your hips down towards the uh, sitting bones. So feel your spine well extended, lifted. And be aware of your breath. So if your breath is shallow, it's probably you are too concentrated on something and it's not what we want. Allow the breath to go high into the top chest. Feel how your fingers slightly moving because you are breathing deep. Descend the trapezius down, top shoulder blades forward. Next, slightly back. And then exhale, bow your head. When you bow your head, don't disturb your body. The body remains as it is, shoulders still rolling back. And then take your arms down, you can raise your head and open your eyes. Let's quickly do what Hanguliasan, take your arms in front, cross the fingers, move your palms away, arms up. Uh, Lena, hello, roll the upper arm forward. Think on the elbows, lift, lift, lift yourself high up. And again, see if you're tilting forward or backward and try to create the most extension of yourself. Descend the legs down, still outer hips, the skin goes down towards the sitting bones, feel the lift of your frontal body fully. And then release your arms, palms parallel to each other, look to the right and see how much you can twist without uh, using your arms. Try to keep rolling this whole cylinder of the left side of the body. I'm turning right, you also turning right, so don't be surprised, you can look into different directions. And keep turning this right side more and more forward. Release the arms, but don't release your eyes. Your frontal hand pushes down, from pointing down. Elbows wide, so don't drop the elbow. Abdomen bring in and breathe and turn. Breathe and turn. So be careful with your neck. Uh, neck often falls forward, bring it slightly back, extend the ears, back of your skull. And remember this section of the abdomen, don't press it forward, but only to the side. So lower back remains wide. 
away and come back to the middle. And then we have, um, uh, sorry, arms forward change the cross. We will repeat it two times. I mean, on both uh, cross of the legs again. Really reach, 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 reach. Open, up, open up your armpits. Roll the upper arms more forward. Descend the shoulder blades down. Neck is long. Keep lengthening. Be careful with your head. Don't press it forward. Make your neck more free. Lengthen the crown of the head up. And then again, release your arms, palms parallel to each other, and look to the left and turn. Back ribs forward, back ribs forward, rotate. Eyes parallel to the floor. How much you can rotate, flex, curl. And then release the arms, but not the eyes. Use your arms powerfully. So ladies, I can't really see um, like your effort, but should be some power in your arms that helps you to rotate your trunk. I hope you feel your back muscles massaging, your back ribs massaging, legs are remaining firm. More than that, you can send your left buttock more forward and then the mm, twist will be even deeper. Don't press abdomen forward, slide your ribs, uh, bottom ribs to the left. And then send your right ribs on the back of your body to your elbow. Few more breaths, inhalation up, exhalation turn. Exhale, release to the middle. And we change the cross of the shins. One more time, divide your flesh of the buttock more to the side. Be careful with tilting back, maybe a little bit forward, but not ever back. And again, arms in front, crossing the fingers. That's a little bit wake up. In this manner, in the twist, again, pull yourself up. Try to feel more and more connection from the bottom rib, from the hips. Don't be satisfied with what you get. And then release your arms, keep reaching, keep reaching. Exhale, turn to the right again. Try to revolve without you using arms, but to the maximum. Yeah, rotate. Search for the cylinder on the left to go forward. Forward, and then exhale, release your arms, strong arms, strong twist, don't press abdomen forward. Wake you up on inhalation, exhale, turn, and still legs remain strong, right butt extend more and more forward to, pre to prevent your hips from sliding away from the twist. And exhale, go back to the center. One more time, different cross of the arms, of the fingers. Arms up, come up. Legs uh, descending. Body lifting. You know what's interesting? Try to kind of get this feeling. Legs are going down, so femur heads. Yes, the legs that are connected to the, fem to the hips, they go down. But the pelvic rim up. Try to kind of divide legs and the pelvic rim. So these guys also up, the anterior hips, all this construction up. And then release your arms. Exhale, turn to the left, but remain tall. Remain tall and don't push your ribs forward. And rotate, 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 and then release your arms. Hold the knee with your uh, palm pointing down. And we turn. Flexible girls, be careful with this area that it's falling forward. Rotate without disturbing your abdominal uh, region. Don't fold it forward. Exhale, go back to the center. Very well done. I want to stand up to start with one more twist on the floor. And I would like you to have belt <clears throat> over your uh, thighs and feet. If you don't have belt, you can do it without. It's just a little bit compactness. You know, when you have hips compact, the, uh, the, the, the twist is better. Ladies on the period, uh, do rather maybe softer version like this. Yeah. And uh, who don't have period, please do it with me. So look, we lie down on the back and you see I just connect my uh, shins actually close to the ankles and to the top thigh. And pull it, yeah, make it quite, 
quite strong together. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. I already feel nice in my belly. You know, somehow when these hips compactness come, right away abdominal muscles are in the right place. Okay, arms to the sides. Girls are ready? We will do 10 times to each side. Ага, Лен, ложись и сразу подтяни. Ага. О, отлично. Yes, Nicola, I see you very well. Good. Arms to the sides, and we do 10 times each side, nine times each side, uh, like quickly. And we will aim with elbow to the armpit. Yeah, elbow to the armpit. And uh, on the last one, we stay a little bit longer. Yeah, so you will uh, do it with me. Okay, exhale, let's go. To the right armpit and come back. To the left armpit and come back. So see how your thighs, the kind of still press back. Abdomen goes to the low back. And this was two. And this is now three. Try to keep your shoulder on the ground. Four. Oh, I connected myself so deeply. Four. Four. <clears throat> Opposite shoulder on the ground as much as you can. Lengthen yourself uh, in two direction of the arms. You know, don't be weak in your arms. Let's say it's four, maybe it's five. I forgot. Let's say this is five. And the six. Oh. Coming. Yeah. And then the seven. Don't worry if you slide a bit down. That can happen. Try to keep your knees together, but they are more or less because of the belt. Eight. And then we're gonna do nine. Nine is still quite active. And then it comes to 10. So let's do it together. You release your legs to the right, it's still in the air, but then this arm, or you, you see my legs on the right. I bend my right arm. And I press the elbow, lift my right shoulder blade and turn it more from right to left. You see this bit, this area is flattened on the ground. And now I stay a little bit here, maintaining the extension of my arms and move my abdomen more in. Very good, come back. Honestly, this belt helps a lot. If we were doing it without any uh, belt, it would be harder to maintain. Okay, now exhale, elbows, um, oh sorry, the knees goes to the armpit. Then I flex my left elbow, lift my left shoulder blade, you see, and bring it more to the left. And then I turn. So I'm, I'm flattered because of this action. Knees came up, I bring them again down and then I rotate. And then I try to keep my eyes quiet. Hope your both shoulders on the ground, ladies. And come back. Good. Now release this torture <laughs> instrument and go to the child pose. Go to the child pose. If your head doesn't touch the floor easily, bring a block for your head. We'll do some arm stretch behind you. Uh, maybe Nicola, I remember you doing yes uh, on Tuesday with belt. <laughs> Keep a belt also around maybe for your arms. So, child pose, first active version. So reach yourself forward, armpits long. Head is resting on the block, don't press it down. Try to press down your shoulder blades. That's the thing. Shoulder blades, but not the uh, bottom ribs. Yeah, bottom ribs, they're easily actually going down. So separate. And then keep your head as it is, either on the floor or on the block, and bring your arms behind you. For people who easily extend their arms, cross the fingers, and we do this. It's sometimes called shalabhasana arms, or you take a belt. Remember, if your pose is really like this, you need a belt. Again, be well prepared that your uh, abdomen will uh, drop on your thighs, lift your abdomen up, reach your arms away, Stay a little bit here, lengthening your trapezius. And uh, girls, we'll go um, a little bit like a twist, but not really. You just take your arms to the right, and you actually, when you take your arms to the right a little bit, to the line of your hip, not so much, 
you uh, try to reach further with your right arm because right arm is now shorter. And left uh, shoulder head can come up and roll more back. Should help you, Nicola, with your shoulder stiffness and then come back to the middle. If you're really tired, release your arms for a second, otherwise stay. And then we go to the left, arms to the left. And you see it's weak. The left arm is now weak. You have to extend it away. And right uh, shoulder head can come up a little bit more. Navel up. Lengthen your arms. Come back to the center. Exhale, release the arms. Just for a moment, lengthen them forward. See if you feel a little bit more freedom in your back, how it went, and we will do it one more time. And the shoulders, the, crawl, uh, the fingers will be crossed differently. Mm -hmm. Ready? Head on the support, no support, it's up to you. Just be sure you're not too like lift it in your buttock. And then change the cross of the fingers at the back of your body. Again, change your floating ribs, lift your arms up. Lengthen the shoulders back, reach your shoulder blades down. Don't be short still. You want to lengthen the body forward, yeah? And then arms to the right. And extra effort in the right arm to lengthen the way, otherwise it's just elbow even want to bend. Don't allow it to bend, lengthen. Left shoulder head comes up and rotate slightly up to the same. Head is pointing down. Face is pointing down and come back to the middle. If you're tired, release the arms. Otherwise, reach back and we go left. And we go back, uh, left and back. And show the right shoulder lift up. Left arm is extremely tall. Perfect, ladies. Come back to the middle. Release your arms, forward active child pose again, go on the fingertips, uh, wrists off the ground, walk further away and hips further away. And again, imagine someone came with two hands, soft, nice hands and presses your shoulder blades down. Let's try to do it in down dog, come up <clears throat> and tuck your toes under. Check that your fingers are really firm and steady in the hands pressing. Don't uh, allow your elbows to do whatever. Upper arm turn out, forearm resisting in. So elbows are kind of pointing, no, let's say towards each other or a little bit towards the thumb, uh, the inner elbows, right? And then tuck your toes under, come up. So first, uh, let's say, say allow your legs to wake up we haven't done much till now so make your distance maybe slightly shorter and more or less i want you all have heels on the ground i will come down just to take a look and we can help a bit mm -hmm. down dog heels down heels down more yulia distance shorter you distance shorter bring your feet closer and heels down calf muscles down uh, it, it, we allow to, you know, classic, it's not classic position. It's uh, especially waking up, morning uh, down dog, shorter distances just to lengthen uh, the muscles, to wake up your joints, yeah, to align your uh, knees and heels all uh, like together. So you don't uh, allow yourself to hang beyond the legs. Beyond the legs and press your thighs more back, everyone. Press your thighs more back. Aha, you're Lengthen Lengthens yourself back. Aha, Daphne, you can use the chair if it's too much. Mm -hmm. And you know, Daphne, I see that the right hip is a little bit falling down. Maybe later I will make a picture of yours. Uh, so try to see that this right leg lifts enough up. Mm -hmm. Somehow it's exactly the, the video gives me this uh, uh, problematic place a bit. Uh -huh. Yes, it's a little bit tiring, but if you can try to survive, it's uh, good for your arms. Lengthen yourself up and back. Mm -hmm. Right hip, Daphne, higher up. Yes, 
and now a bit too much. <laughs> yes, that's it, perfect. <laughs> and press your thighs back, perfect. Okay, everyone. Now, uh, let's jump forward. Feet together, jump a step forward. Uttanasana. I know uh, it's a difficult pose for some, then it's a wall or blocks. Otherwise, release down. Be careful with uh, allowing your hips to hang back. Go forward on the toes and look at your inner arches. Allow them to lift. Inner heel pressing down, ball of the big toe mount pressing down. Like really that your legs are extremely long, uh, strong, sorry. And then you charge your legs up. And then when the legs are so well opened, your spine will allow you to go further down. But now my idea is not to press to your legs, but actually a little bit more forward because we're gonna, um, we're gonna do a uh, twist, right? So we need slightly more uh, extension first rather than really, um, because when you go further down, your back is more round and I don't want that. Yes, girls, I know the legs are maybe tired, but that's the case. We need to wake them up. And the first few asanas like this with extension of the legs and arms, they are the most painful. You know, the warmer you get, the less it's a, a, a fight. Exhale. Okay, very good. Hands under the shoulders. Feet together. If you don't easily reach the floor like this, if you feel your back uh, rounding, your friends today blocks or even chair. I just want the stretch of the leg to happen. Virabhadrasana three preparation, I often call it. Uh, by the way, you can check it yourself in the camera. If again, you, for example, stand a bit like this, probably not like this. So be really on your heels, so the legs above, um, the hips above your ankles. Looking forward, imagine you have very fragile, important thing from your grandma, something very, very important, so you can't drop it. And slowly uh, raise your uh, left leg without tilting your pelvis. Abdomen glues, to uh, your low back. And if you're not sure with your hand, check that you haven't been dropping your hip. Mm -hmm. Try to kick your leg a little bit higher. Lengthen your chest more forward. Try to imagine that this leg grows from your back. So pull the back also away. And the standing thigh also is now doing slight forward, fall, fall forward. Press this right leg more back as much as you can. Right outer hip to the left heel. Reach your chest forward. Breathe. Exhale, release the left leg. So if you feel there was a lot of tension in your knee, maybe you were overextending the leg. You see, like pushing. So be aware that your right, uh, sorry, the quadricep of standing leg is working really strongly. One more time, left side will be uh, standing on the ground. Left leg will stay, right leg will come up. Turn your shoulders back. Please do the pose in, on an up height. Yeah, it's about, uh, it's not about, uh, it's less, you don't want to use props and that's it. Yeah, try to use them wisely. And then, yeah, again, fragile thing on your sacrum. Sometimes I put brick to do it, but keep your imagination running. And then right leg goes up. And when it goes up, outer hip descends down on the right side, either leg lifts. And then see that maybe you crook it on your arms, roll the shoulders back, charge your spine forward. Abdomen goes up to the lower back. And then maybe you will look at your left thigh and try to press it further back. Left outer hip extends to the right heel. Reach yourself forward. Abdomen glues up. Strong legs, strong spine. That's the connection. Release the legs and hands on the hips. Inhale, come up. 
I want few more standing poses to happen. And we'll do them a little bit in an active way because my, you know, still my subject is today uh, twists, but to wake up the body, it's nice to do standing. So be uh, uh, like face the wide side of the mat and we'll just go to a few trikonasanas and so on. So jump your legs apart, push the outer feet to the ground. Because <clears throat> um, I'll do right side to, my, to me, yeah? Because my right side is actually stiffer. You too, you turn your right leg out, left foot slightly in, turn the leg out. Check that your knee is uh, not pointing forward. And exhale, go trikonasana. Just a little bit, we touch the pose. First pose is always a little bit difficult to enjoy. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. As I said, it's more like not for perfection, but to bring some life to our legs, reach your right arm, try to bring it to the floor near inner foot, top arm over your head if you can, look through the elbow, press the back leg, now the arm goes up, hand is going back to the ankle or to the block, Shrikanasana, inhale up again, warrior two, And again, Parshva, arm over the head, it was number two. Again, arm vertically up, hand sliding to the ankle, open the knee. And inhale, come up, warrior two. Exhale, Parshva. And again, Trikonasana. Come back up. Take your feet forward. Let's just jump and step them together. Rest a little bit in the Dasana. Roll the shoulders back. Breathe. One more time. Left side. Big distance. Left leg out. Turn your abdomen to the right. Exhale, go. Honestly, these videos, they are they're telling me everything about me as well. Well, they, you can see I'm also not ideal, of course. So there is lack of extension in knee sometimes and so on. Inhale up, warrior. Turn your abdomen from left to right. Exhale, partial. Maybe use the brick. And again, Shrikanasana. And again, warrior two. And again, Parshva. Try to lift your mm, right side up and press back. And again, Shrikanasana, one more time. And warrior two. And one more time, Parshva. And the last Trikonasana before we come up. Knee up, both knees up. Inhale, come up. Take your feet forward, try to jump or step. Tadasana. Let's release down for rest, feet, hips distance. Hold the elbows. Lift yourself higher up, how you can see, how you can. Mm -hmm. And exhale, go down. Abdomen is lifting. And take your knees higher up. Inner heels pressing, but inner ankles lifting. And uh, inner arches lifting. Chop thigh, go in and press back. 
you see the legs are doing what you're asking. And then hands on the hips very gently. We'll again run back and up. I want us to go to Uparista Kanasana, it's legs wide pose. And for people who tilt, yeah, you feel your pose is a bit like this, definitely height. And actually, um, maybe girls, try to use this tip so you're, you kind of sit on the corner like that, the legs, yeah? It's for people who have this difficulty because you see it's even nicer for me to lift, but I will do without height. Another thing I would like you to take is a belt because we'll do all the um, extension to the sides. So, <clears throat> legs pressing and put your belt on your right side. Sorry, I'm just too big belt in here today. Yeah, put a loop on your right foot. If you are sitting like me with wide side of the mat in front of you, keep your heels really in line. This is quite important because one leg is always have less of extension. Hands by your hips. See that for flexible girls again, this will be more falling forward here, the pubis. So lift the pubis up and press your outer buttock more forward, outer legs more forward. Ground your heels and knees and thighs to the floor. And again, the same idea, thighs heavily down, but pelvic cream up, cross your thumbs and inhale, reach yourself up. So girls, see how it should be hard work because the minute we lifted arms, the legs are light. Press them down. Yulia, where are you? Knees, thighs down, body up. Knees, thighs down, body up. And then again, exhale, turn to the right. <sighs> release your fingers and exhale, go. But don't just release the arms. Again, turn this light side of the uh, left side of the body, left cylinder of the body further, further. Shoulder blades down. I can imagine it's heavy, then release the arms, but if you can, do with me a bit more. Left side of the body down. And then left hand catches the belt, right hand at the outer leg. And it's a bit now nice because it's a twist. If you make it shorter, if you easily reach, you can catch the big toe. I will give myself a bit of space at the beginning. So I catch the belt, inhale up, exhale, turn. Exhale your left cylinder down. Reach your body high up, cylinder down. Reach your abdomen further up, turn it to the right. Left leg resist down and away. Mm -hmm, girls, try to turn, try to turn. Left ribs, they're bulky. Suck them forward and down. Suck them forward and down. Who can? Uh, catch the foot or the belt with two hands. Exhale, go down. Parshva Upalista Kanasana. Or Parshva Kanasana? No, I don't know. If it's difficult for you, you can keep tw twisting or just reaching up. All is good. And then gently inhale, come up. And change your belt. Cross your thumbs differently. Release your heels, knees, thighs to the floor. Lift your arms up. Again, see where your weight is. I think for women it's mostly, no, it's not true. It depends what is your weak point. For me, it's inner leg is pressing more. So I'm a little bit forward. So I have to press harder the outer legs, the outer, uh, the back, the buttock forward. And then things will change. For some people, maybe you're more on the outer legs. So press the inner legs 
and then exhale, turn to the left, and again, reach your arms up. Reach your arms up, turn, 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 and go. And uh, yes, it is very heavy to keep turning and not using your arms. Keep turning and not using your arms. Keep turning and not using your arms. Go, go, go. We always have, with, we always can place the arms down, but try without, try without. Okay, when you can't do anymore, catch this belt with your right hand. You see my left foot is cheating, right one, oops. And then left hand pressing, turn. Left hand pressing, right ribs rotating forward, descending down. Inhale, lift, abdomen turning. Right back ribs, descend down. This and down. And then the final stage, keeping, catching the outer foot or the belt, reaching up and down, but still abdomen turns. So it's not forward, it's really over the leg you turn. Back leg, still press down, outer leg forward. Don't have your right leg weak. And then look forward, inhale, come up. Hands by the hips. You okay, surviving? Easy? <laughs> this is the sign, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, a bit extra. Uh, if you find the next version a bit too much, you can go back to easy one. So look, we were turning to the right. Now I'm asking you to turn to the left. Because remember, it's this one. You reach your arm forward to the left side. You keep your right flank long. Yes, by the way, belt can go on this side if you will have problems reaching the foot. And then you keep yourself wide. When you get your inner foot, or girls who stiffer, this is your pose today. Mm -hmm. I try to go lower, elbow to the floor, near inner leg. If it's easy, you can even place a block between your leg and the arm, so the arm is more forward. Mm -hmm. Opposite leg is a bit light on the sitting bone, but uh, uh, femur, the thigh is going down, and then turn. Turn yourself up. Mm -hmm. If you want full version, arm up, roll in and try to catch your foot. Turn, turn, turn. And gently release the pose and come up. In this uh, parivrita, the problem is this side. Sometimes people will say, oh, Tanya, I feel cramp here, then you are too short, yeah? This has to lengthen. Okay, belts and stuff can go on the other foot. Turn to the right, turn to the right. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Because honestly, in the full pose, if you look in the full pose, your chest is opening up. My count, but yeah, the idea is that it's all over the leg. So then you reach your left arm forward because you turn towards the right leg, left arm forward, and then you slide, and then you slide, and then you slide, keeping this as long as you can. Try to catch the foot like this. Girls who do the full pose with me, look, my palm is up and I catch it. And then you press your both legs into the floor. You press this elbow into the support. You lengthen this uh, flank, left shoulder blade forward, and then if you can, arm over the head. And then imagine what I said about the full pose. Your chest should come out vertically. Sternum bone should kind of point to the ceiling, eventually. And then inhale, come up, and release the pose. 
Very good. Help your legs to come together. Let's cross them for a moment. And just go for a moment down, just to open up a little bit the low back. Because in case it was heavy pose for your back, leg from your low back. We will go back to down, down dog and play uh, from there. But I want first to recover you here. Change the cross of the shins. One more time, go forward. Honestly, I'm not big. Like I see that I'm very restricted in the poses that we just done, but I really wish I was better. So I think for coming month, we'll do it more now. I really feel it's a nice pose to practice. Okay, go back. If you still feel low back, please give me a sign, yes? But I hope now we're gonna go to down dog again and down dog will help extra. Tuck your toes under, go up, down dog. If down dog feels uh, not helping your back, you can raise your hands higher on the chair or so, and it should help more. Because it's probably uh, your legs a bit stuck and they don't allow your low back to extend. Knees, thighs lifting up, top thigh pressing back, Inner legs, thighs, inner thighs, roll strongly back. Elbows don't press to the ground. Elbows up, forearms up, shoulder blades down. Okay, jump forward, hands on the hips, inhale, come up. Andhra Chandrasana. First Andhra Chandrasana can be back to the wall. Uh, otherwise, take, <clears throat> take uh, if you don't have a wall, just maybe heel to the wall. But we'll do it two, two times at least. Okay, right leg out, block if needed, just go. Uh, without even Shrikanasana, just go into the pose, Andhra Chandrasana. See that your right buttock is not coming up along the wall, but goes forward and to the left heel. Reach your left arm. Yes, everyone is doing a very really good job. Well done. Mm -hmm. Yulia, Nicola, we're waiting for you. Uh huh. Katya, you're balancing. Wow. Bring your head on the wall if you have a wall, so neck is restful. Try to take your top leg higher up, bring it in into the hip. Mm -hmm. When it's enough, you come down and stay a little bit longer. Good for ice skating. Imagine you are on the ice. <laughs> okay, exhale, release the left leg, gently come up. No, I can't imagine on the ice skate to be like this. <clears throat> left leg, walk on the left. Just bring your legs a bit wider. Left leg turns out. Arms to the sides. Try to see that you are not dropping this hip. Yeah? Because it's a little bit tricky. Classically, we should do trikanasana. I'm kind of uh, uh, not doing it. So be sure your hip is not falling forward when you. Go to the pose. This anterior hip is lifting up. And actually, if you can touch the wall with your right button, it's a good sign. It means your pelvic rim is pointing forward. And that's the game. Arm up. Mm -hmm. See where your left, left button is going. Lengthen it to the right heel and ear. Take a look at your shoulders. You're a little bit like this. So both arms away from the neck, lengthen the head and neck away from the chest. Top arm, reach higher up. It's also a bit like this. Reach up. Yeah, both arms really on top of each other and left arm, lift the right arm. Left arm, raise the right arm. Yeah, more and more, bring them in line. If you can look up at your right arm and you can bring the head to the wall to release a bit the strain. 
from, uh, you know, from your brain. Take your right leg a bit higher. Keep turning the pelvis up to the wall, right buttock to the wall. And then look forward and gently release. Okay, just for a moment, be in Tadasana. And while you're in Tadasana, you look at my sequence. We did it a while ago, and I'm welcoming using you a chair, if you have one. And you will see what I'm doing, so you won't have like questions what I'm doing. So now we will go with a sequence like this. We'll go warrior three. Uh -huh, you can't see my back foot. Once it's nothing going on, it's just on the wall. <clears throat> Pointing down. Warrior three. Again, remember the pelvis, something very fragile and important, abdomen up. And then you don't, uh, we go to Artha Chindrasana Classic, right leg remains, left foot turning out. You see my foot pointing towards you, Artha Chindrasana. And there we go down, and the chair is instead of uh, brick, right? And then again, the foot pointing down, this is important. Leg is very up, don't drop it. Left hand on the brick. And I'm going revolved, Artha Chandrasana. And then I again, warrior three. And I rest. Uh, if you're on the chair, maybe you can even try to bring your forearms. And uh, Daphne, be careful, there's quite a lot of like strong legs work, so maybe you skip something, yeah, if it's too much. Um, yeah, ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go from Tadasana. And be sure uh, that your thighs are pressing back. So, you know, sometimes this kind of thing happens to us. So press your thighs more back, hands on the hips. Exhale, keep pressing your thighs back, roll them in, and then release your hands. Feet together. Uh, honestly, I hope you feel that your low back is very long. This is, should be the feeling. And then, <clears throat> Right leg remains on the ground, left leg comes up, foot, foot pointing down. Girls, be careful. My leg is honestly a bit cheating. It should be more vertical. See that your standing leg is also 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then we reach forward with the body. Uh, top leg is pressing, thigh is lifting up, bottom leg pressing, abdomen lifting up. And then we're gonna go to Artha Chindras, same pose we just did. Right hand stays, left foot turns out, and you are balancing on one leg and one arm. Uh-huh. Turn yourself more here. Left and right side should be parallel. Uh-huh, uh Press the left heel harder, everyone. And now exhale, go down, foot pointing down. And now maybe this would be hard because you are tired, but just try left hand on the block, right hand on the hip, left thigh higher up, standing thigh press back, revolve, Tarkachindrasana, revolve. Left ribs descending down, and then raise your right arm if you can. Exhale, release. Warrior three, prep, look forward. And then leg down, feet wider. Uttanasana. And 
And then one more time, hands on the bricks, feet together. Right leg on the wall. Warrior three preparation. Standing leg 90 degrees, foot pointing down. Press this heel so much that it doesn't slide. If it's constantly sliding, uh, it's, uh, it means your, uh, your energy, your awareness can't reach the foot yet. It will improve later. Standing thigh, press more back. Navel goes up, reach your chest forward. And then keep balancing on the left leg. Right foot turns out. So my foot is parallel to the floor. My left hand stays on the brick as it is. My body turns up. Oops. You see I'm talking and footing. Should be a lot of firmness in the back leg if you can reach your arm up. Standing leg very strong, knee and thigh lifting up. Open your spine, like reach out from the tail into the crown of the head. Don't be weak in your neck and your head. Lengthen and then release your arm. Release your foot pointing down. Again, warrior three uh, arrangement. And the right hand stays on the block. Left hand goes on the hip. And we all turn towards the right leg. But right leg is high up. Press it up. Press it up, press it up, press it up. Left shoulder, ear more back. If you can reach your left arm up. Turn, breathe, head back. Aha, uh -huh. Yuli, you need me, I see. Exhale, go forward, don't come out. One more time, warrior three. And then release the foot. And stay here, Uttanasana for rest. But knees remain lifted. Aha, uh -huh. and inhale, come up. Girls, are we gonna do the twist that I teach you almost every other day? And it will be Marichasana three. Because I want to add few more, but this one I think the best to get your spine involved. You reach your legs forward. Remember, I like to sit on a bit of height. I recommend it to you too. Right leg bending, left leg um, in line with your hip, lift yourself up, don't press your ribs forward, lift back of the ribs up and then cage with this elbow, this arm throw back, maybe on the wall, I want to put the brick because wall is too close. Again, be careful with those ribs to press into your thigh. Lengthen the crown of the head. Press your right buttock forward. Right sitting bone to the shin and then adjust your arm over to the right outer knee if you can. And few breaths. Reach and turn. Reach and turn. Exhale, go back, release the leg, second leg is bending. Again, I recommend you first to honestly yeah, do like this, just to feel the lift of your body, again, away from the legs. And then we catch, but don't press yourself forward, slide the ribs over your knee, left arm. Don't forget to turn it in the shoulder, back. My shoulder is rolling back. Bring your ribs through. Now see, it's a bit difficult pose when the diaphragm is stuck there. But now for me, you see I'm even talking and I'm okay. Because my diaphragm is not pressed to the thigh. So try to reach this 
point where your uh, diaphragm went uh, over your thigh and your abdomen is still going back slightly. So you feel how your lower back is widening and not narrowing. Please breathe. Inhalation, more and more lift, exhalation, more and more churn. And exhale, go back. Girls, I believe in you. Arkhamatsin Drasana. What? <laughs> we don't know this thing. <laughs> so, um, I think that man, your body should like it, but maybe a bit restricted. So, feel free to change it. We kneel. And you get your right leg over. Remember, like, we do Gamukhasana. Bottom leg to the side. We sit. And we bring this leg up. I recommend you, I'll repeat it in a moment, to sit on a bit of height. Yeah, and we turn towards this leg. So one more time. You kneel, right leg over, left leg to the side. So between the feet there is a gap. We kind of go through Gamukhasana a bit. Yeah, so my sitting. But then I quickly release this foot. Uh -huh, you know, you can see a thing. And now I release this foot to stand. And to help me to not have hips in balance, I sit on the blanket a little bit, or block or something. You can try without. Yeah, it's also possible. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, brilliant. So you're it, very good. Just try to see that the foot doesn't do the fall. So it's Tadasana foot, toes, and knee in line. And they, by the way, have communication here, the shin and the thigh. Then again, hug yourself here. Bring your ribs over your knee, uh, over the thigh. Then this hand goes uh, behind you, maybe on the block if you can't reach the floor. And then you hook this arm over the knee. Let me see. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Girls, it's a very deep pose for sacra iliaca um, joint, yeah, where the sacrum connected to our pelvis. So feel that uh, you need to maybe work on more release because we didn't do much on the hips. So a little bit make your hips softer. Lift yourself on inhalation and then turn. Exhale, let go. Release your leg. And we change the side. How to remember? If you followed my words, then it was right on top. Now left on top. Left on top. And bottom leg is going more to the side. The mistake when people don't take this leg away. So I think you all do well, so I'm not stopping here. So we go kind of through Gamukhasana. You can already prepare your blanket or bolster for your sitting. And then this leg does the dasana in the foot. Foot knee in line. This foot and this knee is in line. Oh. Something is really hurting in this side. Uh, you see my, my pose now is a bit awkward because I can't get this hip right away down, the sitting bone, so I'm working on that. Try to get your left sitting bone further and further down. Again, catch with your inner elbow, the knee. Slide your ribs to the side. Bring your left hand behind you and keep grounding your left sitting bone. I know where, where the problem is. It's my knee. So I'm lengthening my toes on the bottom leg. Yeah, that's better. And then bring the leg over the outer knee. Mm-hmm. and a little bit adaptation. We should sit on the foot, maybe you remember. And 
and exhale, release the pose and release the legs. Just let it reach them forward for a moment, just in case your knee was also a bit unhappy. Um, I would like you now to do one more pose that I will ask you to do first. I'm not sure we do second, uh, but we'll do it on sitting on the bridge, so it will be lighter, but the twist will be very deep. Again, not very good, like not recommended for period. So look, I'm sitting like a bird a bit, yeah? <laughs> oh, not a bird, something worse. <laughs> but uh, it will be the twist to the wall like this, you see? So I'm just showing, so you see me. But first we turn to the right. So the same thing goes further to the right. <clears throat> and you also the period any open twist or even something restorative. We are almost finished. Mm -hmm. So see when uh, the twist is not done, your knees are in line, your hips are in line, everything is in line. How about stay like this when we turn? Will be a bit harder. Yes, yeah? so reach your left arm up. Again, don't press those guys to your knees, to your sorry, to your thighs. Slide them along your thighs to the right. And then bring your both hands on the wall. Check that your knees are maybe now not in line. Keep pressing your right buttock more forward, left uh, knee more down to the hip, and then turn, and then turn. People who want more pepper in the pose, try to go lower with your armpit to the knee bit, and turn from there. Because the final pose, I will remind you quickly, is when the arms can catch uh, your legs fully, yeah? So you need to go further in this pose. And then again, right buttock move forward. Don't allow your knees to slide away from each other. Don't allow your ribs to slide and press into your thighs and turn. Slight advanced twist, but I give you a break to sit down and come back. Yeah, it was all right? Yeah, other side. So you see, always uh, we can adjust things to make it a bit nicer because uh, if we sit and hold our buttock, it will be quicker tired. Yeah, the, the, the pose is, uh, is, yeah, obviously like this. So it's, you're supposed to have very good ankles, uh, good stretch on the ankle tendon. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's got to fit. <laughs> yeah, okay, left side to the wall, 20 centimeters, so you have space for your arms. Again, align yourself. Be already prepared from not pressing yourself forward. Ground yourself in the back. Mm -hmm. Hold, turn, slide your ribs, and then bring your elbow over the knees. Check your knees remain in line. Left uh, buttocks, send further to the knee, right knee. Bring further down to the buttock, through the thigh. Press both feet. Don't press the ribs forward. Bring them along the left and turn. It's Pashasana. The name of this pose, Pashasana, variation. Exhale, go back to the middle. And we deserve the break. <laughs> so look, there wasn't quite a lot of the work uh, in the back today. So that's why let's lie down and do uh, Pavana Muktasana. Just a lot of release here. Press your knees first down. You know, there is a way where we press away, but here I want you to press down like really become, accept your legs. You know, accept your legs, press them down to your abdominal, so the lower back spreads more, 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 shoulders down.
see that your abdomen may be worried a bit and like not accepting, but with the time it's it's better. So you feel how more of your back muscles are also going to the floor. Then let's try to make this version where your uh, knees are pressing to your hands, crossed fingers, and you also press your navel down. So low back is now on the floor, but notice that it's now a bit more narrow. Your uh, back is more narrow because there is more extension now in the arms. And then the shoulders, of course, down, and then the neck, of course, is long. Feel your back completely grounded. And the last one will be, again, belt is, uh, you should use a bit of support. Otherwise, you kind of, again, train your muscles to be strong, and I don't want this, I want more release. Take your belt to, you, to raise the legs. And you see 90, so it's not this. Not yet, at least. Maybe we'll do it. So take your legs 90 degrees. And by the way, people who have low back, and I'm curious if Daphne, this is a bit of a nice feeling for you. Um, or you're more into twist now. Uh, that the back is also be getting quite a lot of support here. Yeah, nice, uh, now surrounding shoulders down. Again, can you press your thighs more back? And then maybe you feel even more how your navel goes down. So see how this all changes when we release the belt. Yeah, it's right away adding this hard worker. But here, when legs in the sockets, when arms in the sockets, there is a lot of space in the belly. Soft face. Okay, for people who have uh, a little bit more ease and getting the legs closer, you can do with me quickly. Try to catch your outer feet. If your knees bent, you shouldn't go with me. Yeah? Yeah, Nicole, just try to pull the legs a little bit with belt. Mm -hmm. Elbows to the side, close your eyes, and then again, press your thighs back. Yeah, back, this way, away from you. See how legs are now responsible for opening your back. Okay, very good. Just for a moment, go to Baddha Kanasana. Knees are bent, uh, feet together. Let's do it even like this if you can. Catch your outer ankles and go onto the upper arms. You see? Don't rush in the low back. Lengthen the buttock to the feet. Shoulders down. Stay here. And then we finish with Shavasana in a moment. Just stay with me here. Okay, release your shoulders, release your legs, and we go Shavasana. Yeah, so if you feel that the back wants more of relaxation, you can go child pose, uh, bolster under your belly, for example. You can stay more on your back with knees up to your body. Yeah, Laura, I see. Bye. So yeah, release yourself onto the floor. I roll the shoulders under.
So soften your bottom jaw. Soften your eyes. Release your eyes more and more. And um, the shoulders, of course, rolled under, the upper arms heavy. Lose your tongue. See that it becomes short and thick. Spend a few more exhalations on your back, on your cranium and hip area to make it supported.
And then the next inhalation, slowly wake up. Very gently place your hands on your trunk, bend your legs 